Whatever. Anyways, so this room's just reset. This thing isn't turned over anymore. Oh, you can't see the, uh... Huh, I thought last time I was here, in the second part, the, uh... After going through Patrick's place, I thought the... board was still here, so I could still overturn the... Rock. I don't know. Okay. Anyhow. It is Squidward's place. A much more spacious rendition of Squidward's place than... Alfred King Bottom did. Should probably invest in a ceiling one day, Squidward, but... Who am I to tell you how to live your life? Not that I really know what this big black thing is, to be honest. Yeah. You should also probably get some textures for the back of your... ...canvases. I, I know you can only afford so much, but affording canvases that exist in three dimensions would probably be advisable. Oh, that's the TV. Hi, TV. Yeah, actually, I have a bed in this one. I don't think there's any SpongeBob gaming existence that really... That's not much of a couch, is it? I don't think there's any SpongeBob gaming existence that really, uh... Does much with Squidward's house. It really gives a sensical map. But Pink Bottom just kind of gave it a little circle. I think of everything in SpongeBob world <laughs> as having its standards set by that D on Danny's chest looks very blatantly added on. I think of the standard of uh, I think of the standard as being set by Bowser King Bottom in most cases because it was uh, pretty cohesive in most buildings. Krusty Krab included. Although, the shape of this place... Hi. And actually, just how closed off it is and everything. When the paths look. That reminds me of a... Yeah, I think I already said it. reminds me of flying, Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. On the console version. Anyhow. But unfortunately, Scooter does not have a backyard in this one. You can hear SpongeBob's footsteps. Do other characters have? Wait. What did I just get? I wasn't paying attention to that message. Was that the message that. It's locked in no sign of Squidward. Let's try Patrick's Rock. What? Game. But I already. Now you're giving me conflicting messages. It's grand. Different characters have different stepping sounds. Yeah, it's really quiet, but... To me, it's a really slow stepping sound for how quickly he actually steps. They're all different for the other characters, but they're very su subtle. And then Sojob has the squeaky shoe sound. Not quite the quack that he has in other games, but... No, well, not the quack that he has. Well, yeah, in games, I guess, but in the show. Anyways. Since we just have a wooden door. Oh, God, those freaking guys. Thank you. So you get rid of some enemies in here, and then what? It's a nice circular area. Sunjob has a very cohesive house, so I'm sure he has a very fulfilling life, I'm sure. <laughs> so that has, that has this one little table as a centerpiece. Also has these shadows, they're just kind of there mysteriously. The ship's just kind of here. Same for this one. Shadows that don't really align with anything. With any light source or anything like that. Slow jump should also probably pay for something at some point too, but you know, pineapple shape is just too difficult to work with. <laughs> okay. game. So, yeah, what does one do here after you defeat the enemies? Um, well, you're supposed to watch the news, except there's no TV or, well, for that matter, anything in here. I'm also disappointed you can't bounce on this thing. But, what does one make of that? Well, you're actually supposed to leave for some reason? And that's the point at which SpongeBob comments on his house on when we decide to do things inside. Not sure what TV we're looking at, but... 
Now we get mad so we're having waste our time. Also, sorry for not having actually introduced this episode or having said anything about ending the last one because I just kind of, you know, got carried away. And suddenly it's 21 minutes into the recording instead of 15. Anyhow. Like usual, whoa, whoa. Like usual, whoa. Off to the jump bucket. Why? Uh, what makes us think we can't- we always got past these guys earlier. This does have to do that. No, for some reason, hurting an enemy just instantly makes you fail. Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh, you can actually kill enemies in this one. Okay, never mind. Yeah, so I mean, you can be all full stealth, which I've done before, but it's just not enjoyable to me. Not because stealth isn't fun to me, but because stealth in this game isn't fun to me. But notice, you can pick these up for Timmy. Those are quite the help. Because if you don't quite recall, they allow you to freeze time. I also need to be a lot more careful about stealth when. Ah, crap. Yeah, you just get set back immediately when you fail those, unfortunately. But you need to be a lot more careful about stealth when you're just out in the open. So, another way of doing this is the quote unquote proper way. I don't really know what the point of the walk button is in this game since enemies still see you if you're walking as Timmy. I don't know what the point of walking as any character other than Timmy would ever be, but even walking as Timmy doesn't actually accomplish anything, and we still see you. Okay, yeah, so if you're bold enough to turn to somebody else and then attack this, you can get some time stop juice. Kind of curious what flavor that would be. Now, thankfully, if an, if an enemy actually just walks into you while you're trying to be stealthy. There's no reason to fear because they will not actually do anything bad. Also, there are at least three different instances of time stop stuff in this level, thankfully, all hidden inside of flowered looking things. So from here, you can probably just, I can probably just get through this whole level by killing everything in general. You can probably just kill all those enemies there. You can also sneak past them. If you're patient, just only move when they're kind of farish away from you. Or you can do time stop. Now be careful about that because something I always bugs me is you need to hold down the. Uh, button for that to work, or hold down the stylus for that to work. You don't just tap Cosmo and Wanda, you have to hold on them for some reason, even though it's something you just use once. Jerk. Anyways, you can come in here. And now this is an, an instance of very annoying enemies. Also, don't beat Timmy here because he can't care for himself if he uses the jellyfish around. But something that's very annoying that happens here is, oh, physics for one, but yes, those darn plankton Again, after the GBA version, not really sure why those plankton are even working for plankton anyways, but they... Oh, up here? Yeah. But anyways, they... what do they do? Shoot through the darn platform at you. Very fancy looking room. Also, it's just kind of like... It's not like black up there, it's just kind of... It's very dark. Aha. There's not really any reason not to just do this in this part. Ta-da. Don't need to be all fancy about it. These things! Now this is actually the same one that I believe I worked on two episodes ago. 
at the end of the episode, I didn't have anything else to do. Boop. So indeed, I could just spoil all those things for myself from the very beginning of the game if I wanted to. Which I have no intention of doing. But that would make a difference, I guess, but... Oh well. Somebody got some interior upgrades, I suppose. Oh, SpongeBob, what are you doing? Basic platforming is not what you're doing, evidently. Stop that. Hmm. Just net analyzing animations. Anyways, shadow. Ah, that's the reason for a shadow. That's a pretty good reason for a shadow. Ah, after this we get the unfun part, yeah. But I'll save that for what's relevant. What are these things from the ceiling even are? Maybe they have something to do with making this stuff rise up. So, um... Yeah, a jellyfish game, but for some reason we have fairies on the top screen. <laughs> Not sure what the point of that is. Anyways, yeah, cir make circles, which is hard on my laptop or whatever, and then do other things. So thankfully there's really a big margin for error in this one because it's actually really difficult to do when it comes to protecting the jellyfish, because they really want to go in that darn hole. You only need three jars. Uh, don't really bother trying to get the jellyfish to go up in the holes in the top, top left and right. Doesn't make a difference, honestly. Because they'll just respawn immediately. They'll respawn further away from the hole, yeah, but it doesn't really help. All that matters is just that you did a semi decent job of constantly bubbling them. Oh god, that was terrible. Constantly bubble of a uh, semi decent job of constantly bubbling jellyfish and then just drop the jam in when you can. Yeah, fairy is on the top screen for some reason. That's <laughs> grand. Anyway, so that's how made more jellyfish appear to hurt us, even though we freed them to make them happy. Also, the game's kind of lagging for some reason. What's that going? I think it's lagging a little bit. I can't tell. Oh, I forgot there were so many portals that popped up here. Let's go away. So, something weird that happened when I did this the first time was, at one point, all enemies just kind of died simultaneously, and all the remaining portals disappeared. I don't know why that was. I guess it was just all the jellyfish. And that means the next... <laughs> Portion's gonna really suck if lots of jellyfish makes the game lag, but uh, as for I'm talking about that, well, you have to see yourself in a bit. But for now, it's gonna be it for this episode. Let's play. Who? Let's play. Nicktoons Unite for the DS. I'll see you guys next time in the fun version. When we go through that door and encounter Plankton and have a very unfun battle, I admit. It'll be fun explaining how unfun it is, though. Way. They'll just like shoot me down. Yep. Jerks. But. About this. Yes! Oh, extra damage taken from. Oh, I actually forgot I'll, I'll jump. Yes! Oh, darn it. Danny, I know you can do it. Come on. Oh, crap. Now I know I can just do them with wall jumps like that, it's gonna be fun. So maybe not. Well, maybe possible to do one day. I'll see you guys next time, whenever that is. Once I get done doing this dumb stuff. Yes! Aw, oh, crap. Okay, well...